now is the winter of our discontent, mid glorious summer by this sun of York. Now the clouds that lured upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now our brows bound with victorious wreaths, bruised arms hung for monuments, sternal arms changed to merry meats, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim visaged war has smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbed steeds, to strike terror into the souls of fearful adversaries, he keepers nimbly in a lady's bedchamber to the lascivious pleasings of a loot. I, who am not made for sportive tricks, not formed to court an amorous looking glass, I that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph, I that am curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, sent before my time into this breathing world, scarce half made up, and that so lamely and unfashionably that dogs bark at me as I halt by them. Why I, in this weak, piping time of peace, have no pleasure to while away the time <laughs> unless to spy my shadow in the sun and descend on mine own deformity. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, since I cannot prove a lover, to entertain these fair, well-spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain and hate the idle pleasures of the days. Plots have I laid. Inductions dangerous. By drunken prophecy, libels and dreams To set my brothers Clarence and the King In deadly hate, the one against the other <laughs> And if good King Edward be as true and just As I am subtle, false and treacherous Then today will George Clarence be closely mewed up a prophecy which says G of Edward's heirs the murderer shall be and dive thoughts down to my soul yet Clarence comes ah brother but what of this guard that waits upon my person <laughs> 